In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create the planes from page 2-22 of your textbook. So I've created the sketch in the front plane, as he's told you to do. And next, go to a reference geometry plane. So for plane 1, my first reference will be the top. And I'm going to make a parallel plane. I'm just going to rotate the screen a bit. And the second reference will be the point here at the end of the center line. And I'll right-click to accept that. So now I've created plane one. For plane two, again, I'm going to go back to reference geometry, select plane. I want to create perpendicular plane, and I accidentally had this plane selected, so I'm just going to click in here and delete it. So for my first reference, I'm going to choose this center line. You tell it I want it perpendicular. And the second reference will be this endpoint. I'll right click to accept that. This time I'll click in white space so nothing's pre-selected. And again, I'm going to go back to reference geometry, plane, and for plane 3, I'm going to create a plane at 60 degrees. So I'll expand the feature tree. I want to use the top as my first reference. I'll set the angle to 60 degrees. And for the second reference, I'm going to use this center line to rotate about. I'll just rotate my screen a bit. I want the plane to go 60 degrees the other offset, so I'll turn this on. Now I've created the plane, I'll say OK. Remember, planes are infinite. If I don't like the look of them, I can drag them around and change them. And if I want to see all these planes, I'll go to the all-seeing eye and say, show me the visibility of these planes.